Hi and welcome to Tiny Grace. This is Toffee. She is going to relocate with her family from Bangkok to Seattle in a couple of weeks. And today we will show you how you can prepare an airline crate for a long distance flight. I'm Fabia Feuerabend, an internationally certified dog trainer, behaviorist, nutritionist and canine fitness coach. As a busy mom of an ever-growing pack, I'm constantly trying to balance what I love, training dogs, my career, passion and interests, with who I love, my dogs, friends and family. Here are some of my tips and tricks for keeping the relationship to my dogs healthy, fit and fun while trying to balance it all. Face it, flying internationally with a dog is not fun. It's stressful for both human and dog. And it requires a lot of preparation ahead of time. But sometimes there's just no way around it. Stay tuned to see how you can turn your dog's crate into a comfortable first class travel experience. You will need an IATA approved crate, water bottles, attachable bowls, puppy pads, a soft rug, two Ziploc bags, two vinyl sleeves, live animal stickers, cable ties, double-sided tape, regular tape, very durable toys. Before booking your flight, please make sure your dog is meeting all the requirements to leave the current country and to enter your destination. The requirements can vary a lot, so always check the most current ones. Then, choose an airline with a good pet policy and a good reputation for handling pets and choose a route that, if at all possible, is direct. If you have to step over, Make sure that your pet is taken care of well during that time. And of course, before the flight, have your dog checked by a vet to ensure that she is fit to fly. Always check with your airline before you fly for any specific requirements. This might be the breed of your dog, the size of the crate, the type of the crate, the feeding, everything. Ask them what they want you to do. First of all, your crate must be approved by AATA. This means it has to be solid, leak-proof and sturdy, but at the same time it should be well ventilated. You can see here on the side. Collapsible or soft crates cannot be used. The door must be strong and with secure spring lock. And you must provide food and water bowls that can be filled from the outside. Now, let's get started with the outside of the crate first. First of all, make sure the crate is assembled properly and that you have your live animal stickers on the sides. Again, there can be specific requirements by the airline, so make sure you juggle that with them. Then, I have two vinyl sleeves that I'm going to attach to the top of the crate. One of them is a short letter which says, Hi, I'm Toffee. I'm traveling with my family to Seattle. I'm a bit scared. It's my first flight. But I'm very friendly and enjoy when people talk to me softly. Um, I also have my mom's name on here. She can be contacted. The flight numbers are when we are traveling and where we are traveling. So this one will go on top. Then I have another one that is empty. And it says, do not remove, because this will be the sleeve where all her original um, papers will go in. So the import and export certificates, vet checks, all of this will go right on top of here. So it's right there where she needs it. Then we have two regular Ziploc bags that I will also tape on top of the crate. One is for your food, the other one is for the leash. Right. Your dog should not be wearing a collar, harness or anything while traveling in the crate, as this can be dangerous, some stupid accident and she can get stuck. So don't let them wear anything while traveling. So this we will also tape on top of the crate. So now we have taped our sleeves on top, we have the food here, we have the leash here also taped on top, everything secured. Let's move on to the more important side part, the inside of your crate. 
place absorbent pads like these puppy pads on the bottom of the crate so they can absorb any accidents or spilled water and your dog does not have to sit in the wet crate for hours and it's best to stick them to the bottom with double-sided tape so that they stay in place on top of the puppy pads put a nice comfortable rug or towel and it should be something soft that you like that your dog likes to sleep on but it should not be any bedding that contains stuffing as this could become hazardous if your dog is getting too bored or frustrated and is trying to eat it while on the flight. Attach the water bottle to the door, ideally to the outside. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more free training videos in the future and also videos related to all of your dog questions. And if you're looking for inspiration on how to have fun with your dogs or are interested in trick training, Check out the links in the description below. Till then, see you next time. Say bye bye, Toffee. Have a good flight.